probably this year at one point, uh, you know, there was a, a game situation, and and he came off the ice, and you know, he plays defense, and he came off the ice, and it was a, it was a, one of the newer coaches that was working with him, and the coach berated him, and you know, and the kids, my son's a little bit of a sensitive, you know, he wants to do well and wants to you know not mess up, and um, and came off the ice was yelled at for you know not hustling, you know, whatever it was, you know, the specifics I guess doesn't really matter. And you could tell after the game, he was silent and he was out of sorts. And you know, and I didn't see the situation happen, but with some communication and conversations with him, realized why he was so upset. Which was was that, and that's what I'm talking about as far as impact. Okay, okay, why do you think that was the case? You know, you know, and and trying to make it so that that didn't impact his overall experience, even of that game. You know right or wrong or maybe he did or didn't do what the coach was yelling at but uh, what all he heard was that he did terrible and that he was terrible and the coach was you know uh, you know was all, even the, even the fact that the coach was maybe the problem and i i even addressed that issue was you know you know coaches you know if the coach wasn't trying to make you better was really my my source on this is so that you know right or wrong you know your coach saw something he yelled at him you know so for me you know, I don't ever want to uh, usurp even a, a coach's authority. I mean, coaches make mistakes, but I didn't want to make make that an issue of, yep, don't worry about it. The coach was wrong. You know, move forward and ignore it because I think that authority is important. And I, I subscribe certainly to let the coach coach and, and, and use any of those situations that come up that might not be a positive situation for me to be a parent. That's the way I say it.